Tonight, it's a spectacular movie premiere. Drew Barrymore is the little girl who must save Toyland from the clutches of evil. I want everyone destroyed. Who are you? She's Toyland's only hope, but she'll need the help of the karate kids, Pat Morita. You must remember to keep the child in you alive. Richard Mulligan is the evil Barnaby, and Eileen Brennan is Mother Hubbard in this holiday musical for kids of all ages. The all-new Babes in Toyland. storm heading Ohio way tonight. Road conditions will become extremely hazardous as the evening wears on. But the best advice is to just stay home. Repeat, stay home. Any word from mom yet? Traffic advisors have just been issued. That'll be her. US 30. I wonder where she's stuck this time. And are now Hi mom. Lisa, how did you know it was me? I just knew. Where are you? I'm at a gas station in Midvale. I'm having chains put on the car. I'm hungry, Mom. Okay, Joey. I have a couple of more things that I have to do. Uh, so I'll be home in about an hour, okay? Okay. Will you be all right for a little bit till we get home? Mom, I'm 11 years old, not a child. I'm starving. All right, I'll be just a minute. Um, don't worry about a thing. Just take care of yourself and Joey, and dinner will be ready when you get home. Hey, let me put on your chains. Your oh, chains. I, honey, I gotta go. They're, they're putting the chains on Joey now. They're what? I mean my car. My car. Uh, I gotta go find Joey something to eat. Okay? Great. Bye-bye. Okay, come on, Jaws. Feeding time. Finally. You didn't put these away again, Mary. I got you a great present. Don't ask what it is. It's a surprise. I bet it's a new blender. We could really use one for the family. Well, then what is it? I won't tell you. You're a rat. I love you, too. <laughs> <laughs> For a change, you might want something fun. Oh, I think a sled's a terrific present. I love you. You're a rat. <laughs> okay, take it easy and watch TV until Mom and Joey get home, okay? Okay. Okay. 
There's no need to redecorate the house or anything before we all get back. Are you warm? Yes. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye, <laughs> take care. Attention, Christmas shoppers! Stuffed whales have just now been reduced to three dollars and ninety-eight cents, and I'll eleven. Yes, sirree, we got a whale of a sale. Ho, ho, ho! Three ninety-eight. I'll eleven. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Mary. How you doing? Busy, busy, busy. Come on, come on, come on, you still a lousy whale. What do you think this is? Some kind of holiday? The top story here tonight in Cincinnati is the weather. And here's Gail with an update. As of 10 p.m., the giant Canadian storm continues to surge its way south. Blizzard conditions are now being reported from many areas in the Midwest. The high winds and heavy snowfall are expected to reach us here in the Cincinnati area during the next hour. Now, more local. <laughs> Christmas pizza at Capone's before I drop you home. Jack, I don't think I could eat three pizzas. You said anything about three? I only got two of their offers. Oh, here we go again. The Delilah of the five and dime. Sorry, I tried to call, but the phones are down. Mary, are you going to come home right away? It said on TV there's going to be a big blizzard hitting Cincinnati in an hour. It's really bad. Did Mom and Joey get home? No, not yet. My Jeep's got four-wheel drive. I'll take you both home. Someone should tell Barney to close the store. That's like saying someone should tell King Kong to get out of the jungle. Anyway, here comes your big chance. Uh-uh, I'll come back for you as soon as he's gone, okay? Lisa, get down under the camera. I don't want him to see you here. Hi there, beautiful. I have been watching you uh, with the teddy bears. What do you think of running here, a charity bazaar? The merchandise was faulty. There was no refund. The customer took a punching bag in exchange and was quite satisfied. One thing I can say for you, Angela, is your personal merchandise is by no means faulty. But when I say push the teddy bears, I mean push the teddy bears. Clear? I'm not a salesperson, Mr. Barney. I'm customer service, and I was doing my job. Doing your job is pleasing me, which in your case would not be difficult, you know what I mean? No, I don't. You know, for a smart-looking girl, you're really pretty dumb. Don't you know it's better business to be nice to the boss than to some pretty stock boy with his fingers in the till? Don't you talk to Mary like that. What the heck is that? That is my sister, and she's absolutely right. Mr. Barney, I suggest that you keep your smutty thoughts to yourself and stop making cheap accusations about a nice guy like Jack Fenton. Oh, yeah, well, with your attitude, you could be out of here real quick, you know that? 
with your attitude, I could be out of here right now. There's a blizzard out there. It's Christmas Eve, and I'm going to take my baby sister home. Mary. I know, I know. You're not a baby. You're 11 years old. And if you had any conscience, which I know that you don't, you'd advise all your customers to get out of here while there's still time. Come on, Lisa. Let's what? go find Jack. Oh, do what? Uh, and ruin my biggest one-day ticket? What are you, crazy? It's... Just like Barney. Fenton to the big guy. He's got it. Over the head, too. Come on, Jack. Let's go. What happened? I just told King Kong what he could do with his jungle. All right. <laughs> Good for you, pal. Oh, careful. I don't think His Majesty was too happy. Bears, bears, bears. Bears, bears. Oh, Miss Piper. What is it, Mr. Barney? I have a little Christmas present for you. You're fired. What for? What for? Why, for, for spreading panic among my customers over some two-bit snowstorm? And you're fired too, Fenton. And you, you're fired. Both fired. For sabotage. Oh, nothing to worry about, folks. No, it's just, just a little snowstorm. Please go. You go right on shopping. And, uh, and for the next hour, there is a free teddy bear with every purchase over $75. Monster. Nothing to worry about, folks. So that was just a false alarm. Please, uh, come on now. It's just a little snow. I mean, what do you expect? It's Christmas. Christmas time is snow time. And in no time, it'll be Christmas again. Congratulations, Miss Piper, on winning the first <laughs> annual Sister of the Year award. Oh, Mary, a mountain master. They're the best, and so are you. <laughs> Put that back, you little freak. That's stolen property. It costs exactly half of the salary that you owe me, Mr. Barney. Well, you can sue me for the other half. Come on, Lisa. And you two. The two of you? You can sue me, too. That's just what we'll do. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Stupid storm forever! Ah! Careful! <laughs> Lisa, get the back. Get that seatbelt around the sled, Lisa. It won't reach. here in Cincinnati. Welcome to glorious Cincinnati, queen of Ohio's Alpine Ski Resorts. I come from C-I-N-C-I-N-N-A-T-I-Cincinnati, the best town in Ohio, USA. At first they called it Cincy, but since Cincy is so natty, they named it Cincinnati, so they say. Hey, the girls are pretty, pretty in this gritty little city. The Bengals, the Reds, and the Bengals, Maltese. They knock the socks off, Maltese on the green. I mean, true, hard 
Toyland, sponsored in part by McDonald's, where it's a good time for the great taste. And by Fruity and Cocoa Pebbles. Happy holidays from your friends in Bedrock. Is the season to be sharing, Fred. Happy holidays, pal. Oh, Fred. Fruity and Cocoa Pebbles cereals, part of this nutritious breakfast. Oh, 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 oh. I don't want to do this. It'll be great. I'll be scared. Just think how glad you'll be when you're all done, and maybe we'll all go to McDonald's. I'll be glad when I'm done. I'll be glad when I'm done. I'll be... <sighs> think McDonald's. Oh, I wish I were already there instead of here. Song. Oh, I would have a big chocolate shake, a cheeseburger, and also, whoops, and also fries. And I would eat my fries myself and not give any to my dumb brother. Hands off and mine off mine. Oh, boy, my recital is almost done. It wasn't bad. I'm still alive. And now I can have my chocolate shake, my cheeseburger, and also whoops, and also fries.
People always say it's the thought that counts. So JCPenney thought it would be nice if you could exchange any JCPenney gift at any one of our 1,400 stores without giving it a second thought. Smarter than ever, JCPenney. You are looking at the perfect Christmas present. An amazing product of advanced technology that you could never, ever give at Christmas before. The incredible new Spectra system from Polaroid. You take your picture seriously. We now return to Babes in Toyland. Georgie Porgy, uh, chief taster at the Toyland Cookie Factory. Uh, here, have a, a raspberry ripple. It'll make you feel better. Oh, thank you. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, look. It's Humpty Dumpty. Oh, I know. Don't talk to him. He never stops chattering. He'll keep you there all day long. Hi, Humpty. Always a thrill to pass the time of day with you, Georgie. Oh, why are you in such a hurry? Oh, it's terrible. I'm going to a wedding. What's so terrible about going to a wedding? Excuse me, I thought they were supposed to be fun. Not this one. My best friend Jack's sweetheart, Mary, is about to marry that terrible mean old yicko, Barnaby. But she really loves Jack. I didn't quite follow that, but it does sound awful. Well, come with me. You can see for yourself. See the house on the hill? The bowling ball? That's Barnaby's house. All black, with three holes. He is so evil and so bizarre. Sometimes when he gets really angry, he rolls his house right down the street and knocks people over like they were nine pins. God, this guy sounds really weird. Why is Mary marrying this terrible old Barnaby instead of his friend? Because Barnaby bought the mortgage on her mother's house and said he'd throw them all out in the street if she didn't. Well, Mary's too loyal a daughter to let that happen. And what's even worse, Barnaby is Jack's uncle. Boy, for a child, it looks like so much fun. This is pretty strange stuff. Oh, I tell you. Being rotten is the only thing that makes Barnaby happy. And being this rotten, well, I've never seen him in such a good mood. Can't wait to meet him. <laughs> wedding song. There's 
elopes so much. Why don't they just elope? Because there's nowhere to elope to. It's just that Toyland is surrounded by the forest of the night, the scariest place anywhere. And even if there were somewhere to elope, Mary daren't because of what Barnaby might do to her. I mean, we're talking serious villain here. That's Barnaby, with his two goons, Zack and Mac. But Mary's so young and pretty. She can't possibly marry a hideous creature like that. I told you it was a terrible wedding. Don't be a silly Billy. Would you both please step forward? <laughs> Dear friends and neighbors, as Justice of the Peace of Toyland, it falls within my power to join this handsome couple. Well, anyway, uh, this couple in matrimony. Sadly, our beloved toy master cannot be with us today due to the immense burden of his Christmas toy making responsibilities. Who's the toy master? Oh, he's the most wonderful man in the whole world. Everybody loves him. But he did send the following message to the happy couple. If he's so wonderful, how can he let this wedding go on? I want uh, the two young people both to know that somehow or other, true love will always win through. Mary Contrary, do you take this man Barnaby to be your husband? For better, for worse, through good times and bad, forever and ever, as long as you shall live. For bad times and worse, I do. Barnaby Barnacle, do you take Mary here to be a bride, to have and protect as long as you both shall live? I do, I do, I absolutely, yes, I do. Now, if anyone knows any just cause why Mary and Barnaby should not be joined together, speak now or forever hold your peace. In that case, I now pronounce you. But she doesn't love him! Who said that? I did. She loves Jack, and she really shouldn't be marrying you. Oh. Well, whoever you are, this is none of your business. Oh, Mary, you're really making a very big mistake. Lisa, you should come with me. And Mrs. Hubbard. You should be ashamed forcing your poor daughter to go live in a bowling ball just to pay your mortgage. If you know what's good for you, you little troublemaker, you'll keep your lips zipped. This imposter is not a citizen of Toyland. This is an invader. Get rid of her! 
Ever set foot in Toyland? Oh no, I won't. Except for you, this looks like a wonderful place, and I'm glad I got here on the day Mary Contrary didn't marry you. in Toyland will return after these messages. Here they are, folks. AT&T lookalikes. Pass them off as the real McCoy. They work like AT&T phones? Yeah, they work like AT&T phones. You talk there and listen there. These are beautiful. An unsolicited testimonial. Are they as reliable as my AT&T phone? Don't I look reliable? Madam, he looks extremely reliable. Now, second-class phones even look like AT&T phones, but they still don't work like AT&T phones. Taxi! After all, you get what you pay for. AT&T, the right choice. Yeah, he's got it! Get it! Yeah, he's got it! Get it! And when a man has got it, he wears Fruit of the Loom. Fruit of the Loom fashion underwear for men. It's got it. Fly fronts, colors, stripes, prints, low-rise, or bikinis. And when a man has got it, A man's fashion underwear. Why you bother me, boy? Are you crazy? I'm a chicken hawk and you're a chicken. Are you coming quietly or do I have to mush you up? You're going at it all wrong, son. You gotta go to Kentucky Fried Chicken if you want to catch America's favorite chicken. It's a great place to get a great meal. No one makes tender, juicy chicken like the Colonel. It's finger licking good. Here, son, let me give you a lift. <laughs> We do chicken right. You know, 
what my nose does when it smells Tarot's cookies baking? When it says to my mouth, he won, he won. What can my mouth say? It says, hmm, that song candy must be those nasty Tarot's morsels. And what thing did my mouth say? Nothing. Nasty. But then my tummy says, thank you very much for the delicious Nestle Tarot's cookie. Really? Nestle Tarot's chocolate chip cookies. Everything should be this good. NBC Movie of the Week will return following these messages. Monday when Alf gives the tree a real trimming. Merry Christmas! Will the family give him the axe? Let's move on to New Year's. Al! Then. An Amazing Stories Encore Celebration. Got that bag and raise those mitts. The Christmas one boy can save. Monday. Two shirts exactly the same, but one has to make an awful lot of stops before it reaches the store. But Outlet Park plays another strategy. To save you money, their stores get name brand merchandise straight from the manufacturer. Plus, here's another way your savings can really stack up. Let the computer Santa at Outlet Park help you with some great gift-giving ideas. You'll also be automatically registered to win a free IBM personal computer. Saving at Outlet Park. That's the name of the game. With all you have to do this time of year, relax. Let someone else do the cooking. Kentucky Fried Chicken. And make it easy on yourself. Bring home plenty of delicious Kentucky nuggets when friends drop by. Have a happy holiday with Kentucky Fried Chicken. TV6, WECT, Wilmington. Babes in Toyland continues. Starring Drew Barrymore, Eileen Brennan, and Richard Mulligan. Enjoy her coach ride, but it's nothing compared to the ride she's going to get before I throw it up. But first, we have a few other fish to fry. I think it's time to look into your eyes, sweet troll Show me what my little friends are up to. Show me what I need to know so I can make certain Everyone gets what they deserve. I've never seen anything so brave in my whole life. So we're so brave, but Barnaby's bad, and... Don't worry, Don. No one should ever be afraid. Afraid to say what they think. Unless they say to Barnaby. He doesn't scare me. Remind me, beloved Trollarg, to extend a very special invitation to young Miss Lisa Cincy Watsky. <laughs> Come. We have business at the cookie factory. That's the forest of the night. Stay away from there, Lisa. Never go outside the walls of Toyland. Why not? Because it's filled with nightmare creatures and scary monsters. Oh, Georgie, that's just Barnaby trying to put you on. Oh, I don't think so. Maybe it would be better if you went back home, back to Cincinnati. I don't want to leave Toyland yet. I want to make sure you and Mary are happy and safe before I go. Then it's Karen, you... We all agree Lisa stays. <laughs> You're welcome to stay with me for a few days if you can stand my mother. I'd love that. And next Wednesday, Jack inherits the Cookie Factory Trust, so you certainly won't go hungry. You own the Cookie Factory? Well, not exactly. Nobody ever owns a Toyland Cookie Factory. It's more like a sacred trust, which my family happens to have run for hundreds of years. Our whole economy is based on cookies. They're not just our food. We buy and sell and pay for everything in cookies. I should have become keeper of the trust when my father died. But Barnaby got a law passing. I had to be 21 and married. So by noon, next Wednesday, Jack has to be standing on the steps of Town Hall, married to someone, but I'm not saying any names, Mary Katrina, in order to get the job. And if he's not... 
And as my father's brother, Barnaby becomes keeper for life. And with our luck, he'll probably live to be 300 years old. Cookie break. Take care of Jack, his plans, his marriage, and his friends. Yes! One week from today, and everything will be mine! <laughs> children she had to move into a pair of boots and we got this one from her. Oh really? <laughs> Hi Mary. Hi Auntie. This is my new friend Lisa. We've met. Careful. You don't know who got <laughs> I'm going to try and make an exception. I'm sorry, Mrs. Hubbard, but my mama always taught me to do the right thing. And that's what I did. Now, what I did was have children. So many children. All very adorable. Of course. <laughs> this is Wee Willy Winky. Hi. Peter Piper. Jack. And Jill. Hi. Hello. Little boy Blue. Jack Horner. Hello. <laughs> I 
forget who this one is, but you'll get to know all of them. Oh, now, very contrary, I have something to say to you. Now, what is it? Yes, number 11. How dare you not marry that nice, rich Mr. Barnaby? And you know perfectly well why not, Mother. Because I don't love him. I love Jack. And I've got Lisa to thank for saving me from making a terrible mistake. I think that we've had this discussion before, but I'm not sure. Let me check. I know I had something else I wanted to add. Yes, number 16. Why don't you keep your business out of other people's noses? I think I wrote that down wrong, but you know what I mean. Mrs. Hubbard, I think the same as your toy master. When two young people love each other, they should be allowed to be together. Oh, I will not allow such radical thinking in my school. And a mature man of the world like Mr. Barnaby should be free to marry a more elegant, glamorous woman of the world such as yourself. She talks a lot of sense, that girl. Hmm? I mean, that's not a half bad idea. One thing is for sure, he's got to marry one of us or we're out in the street. Oh, don't worry, Mrs. Hubbard. I'm sure we'll find one way or another for you to keep your house. Oh, I had an idea about that today, too. Yes, number 23. Sell the children. What? But not all of them. Just a couple of the little ones, no? No, Mama. Okay. Is that out? Is it an idea? Maybe the toy master could help us. Yeah, I really want to meet him. Oh, you will. He's the bestest person in all of toy land. But first, I think we ought to make sure that Jack and Georgie are okay down at the cookie factory. Okay, I want to see that too. Okay, come on, let's take the cars. Oh, wow, what nifty little cars. Can I try the pink one? Well, sure. Can you feed me some pedal? I'll try it and see. Yes, just. Ah, oh, well, that's the only requirement for a Toyland driver's license. It's always daylight here. Well, if it's always daylight, how do you know when one day ends and another begins? You just start the day whenever you feel like it. That's why Toilet never had traffic again. It all started with daylight saving time. We saved so much daylight that there wasn't any need for it. It was a toy master. That's great. I mean, sensational. I mean, then there's no need for people to say it's too late for things like... You have to take a bath before it gets dark. But of course, out there in the forest at night, it's always night time. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Georgie. Wow. Oh, Nita. What a delicious smell. I'm starving. Well, that is the best way to come to the cookie factory. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say to a big kiss? Hello, big kiss. You again! Since he wants me out the door! Or into the flower grinder, which shall it be? Uh... I think maybe out the door sounds better. Lisa's welcome here anytime she likes, whether you like it or not. Until next Wednesday, she may be. But after next Wednesday, it's over for all of you. We'll see about that next Wednesday. <laughs> Grim, you've arrived just in time, thank heaven. Mm. 
Arrest that man. Georgie Forgy? No, imbecile. The other one. Your nephew? Yes, him. What are you trying to pull now, Barnaby? You want me to arrest your own nephew? That's what I said. On what grounds? What is all this? Just as grim. I regret to have to report a major robbery. Six months inventory is missing, involving millions, many millions of cookies. This is a very serious accusation your uncle is making. Search the place. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of, Justice Grimm. Why would I want to steal from myself? Tell me that. I'm the new trustee. Because you want to create a federal cookie deficit. Make them hard to get. Drive up the prices for all of the poor people in Toyland. It's a disaster for our economy. Excuse me, but I know Mr. Barnacle is not telling the truth. Jack would never do that. It is a totally ruthless, unscrupulous act. Completely devoid of all moral and social conscience. It's also a lie. An out-and-out lie! Justice Grimm, if you would be kind enough to follow me. Yes, please. There. There. Thousands of boxes of cookies. Gone! Who is responsible for their safekeeping? I am, but... Then I'm afraid this doesn't look too good for you, young man. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just the thought of all those poor little teddy bears going hungry. It's too much. I'm sorry. I have no alternative. Justice Scrim, you're making a big mistake. You're really locking up the wrong person. Just what exactly are the charges? Suspicion of Grand Cookie Larceny. Get in. Thank you, Justice Grimm. This is a very painful moment for me, my own nephew, a criminal. I'll be down to file formal charges in about three minutes. doesn't look good but I'll think of something there must be something to do to save the day babes in the wood though that we may be this little baby is gonna find a way we're down in the dumps but we'll turn out trumps yet we'll all the bumps yet, yet we, we don't, don't know how it's worse than the mumps but we'll clear the jumps yet we'll man all the pumps yet we must start now right, right here, here and, and now. now just give me a moment and i'll think of something yes, yes we'll think, think of something we three together can, can do, do. NBC Movie of the Week will return following these messages. Which 35 millimeter camera took these photographs? Here are a few hints. Its autofocus system is incredibly accurate. Its ingenious lens produces images of exacting sharpness. Its range of accessories make it extremely versatile, and its film is based on a brilliant new chemistry. Which 35 millimeter is it? None. It's the amazing new Spectra system from Polaroid. Polaroid, we take your pictures seriously. There's no single cheese like Velveeta. Cause Velveeta is more than one single cheese. Like cold with and cheddar. Blend it all together for a creamy taste 
melts with ease. Velveeta pockets cheese spread. Tastes so fine. Rock of natural cheese is do the trick every time. Velveeta really knows how to please. You know it's great when they clean their place. There's no single cheese finer than this place. Like Velveeta. Makes you think of kisses and hugs. Gotta get a gun, gotta get a gun. Everyone is full of love. Gotta get a gun, gotta get a gun, gotta get a gun. You Earth people keep stars in a bowl? Campbell's chicken and star soup. Why do you put stars where you speak? That's the way we eat now. This is the way we eat. Campbell's tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> Kids may be different, but Campbell's knows what they love. That's why we have six delicious soups for kids. If you eat where you speak, do you drink where you listen? Campbell's soup is good food. <laughs> the word is out. A Duracell battery will outlast a Kodak Superlight battery by up to 20%. We just can't help crowing about it. Duracell. No battery lasts longer. Saturday, come home for the holidays when a loving family warms the heart of their mean-spirited landlord. We've got two weeks' notice, and that's it. An all-star cast in Christmas Snow, Saturday. When you're out shopping for the best this busy holiday season, don't forget about McDonald's Chicken McNuggets. McNuggets come from only the best cuts of chicken. Plump, tender breast or juicy thigh. No wonder they're so good. McDonald's Chicken McNuggets. It's a good time for the great taste of McDonald's. During this special time of year, don't forget to give the gift everyone loves to take back. A $5 book of McDonald's gift certificates. purchase. I'm a raisin broker. I know raisins, but I don't understand this Kellogg's raisin brand. One scoop of raisins in a package is plenty. A scoop and a half is really delicious. A scoop and three quarters will make your head spin. So when Kellogg's went to two scoops, nobody could believe it. Two scoops? I tell you, in the old days, we'd get half a scoop, we'd be dancing in the streets. Fiber Ridge Kellogg's Raisin Brand. Two scoops is a lot of raisins. Oh, 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 the night before Christmas, an Oreo cookie's waiting for a special guest. I'll just take a little rest. Ho, 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 who's that kid with the Oreo cookies? Eating all the luscious chocolate, licking all the creamy middles, dunking all the crunchy cookies like he did when he was little. It's so hard to hide. The kid inside with Christmas and O R E O Bisco. The NBC Movie of the Week will return following these messages. Monday, Loretta Young comes home for a touching holiday story. Does it have a happy ending? She's a mother struggling to bring her family together for Christmas. I want them to come because. They're ready to put the past behind them. It shouldn't take a miracle, but it will. In Christmas Eve, Monday. This is NBC News Digest. Here is John Hart, NBC News. Good evening. The Independent Council Commission to investigate the secret arms deals with Iran and what happened to the money is Lawrence Walsh, former president of the American Bar and a Republican. Vice President Bush said Admiral Poindexter and Colonel Norris should tell what they know about the deals with Iran and before Christmas. Now this. I knew Olympus is the only autofocus SLR with a built-in flash. Like this. In case I want to shoot, like this. The new Olympus OM77AF. The only autofocus SLR that does it all. The White House says the president has no plans to replace CIA Director William Casey, who had brain cancer surgery yesterday. The Voyager is halfway around the world with a thousand pounds more fuel than the crew thought and is expected to get home on the original tank of gas. 
I'm John Hart in New York. Ask any child. Christmas just wouldn't be Christmas without a visit to Independence Mall. All aglow with a wonderland of holiday magic. The kids will love Santa's Express as it winds its way through our dazzling decorations. And of course, they'll want to meet Santa himself here every day. Independence Mall helping to make this Christmas the best ever. Merry Christmas from Independence Mall. Open every day, including Sundays. Did you know Harris Teeter had the best deli bakery in town? That's right. Harris Teeter has fantastic variety and low prices. Like grade A Valley Star Turkey, just 79 cents a pound. Delicious Florida oranges, five pound bag, 99 cents. And parquet margarine, two pounds, only 99 cents. No matter what you're looking for, you'll find it. Along with quality, variety, and low prices. So come see us. We're Harris Teeter. WECT TV Channel 6 Wilmington. Dave's in Toyland continues. Starring Drew Barrymore, Eileen Brennan, and Richard Mulligan. Hey, Mrs. Hubbard, have you heard the news about Jack? Oh, do me a favor, leave me alone. I'm depressed. I'm very depressed. He's been arrested. He's in jail. Big trouble. Really? Really. Well, things are looking up. Mm-hmm. Get you out. Lisa and Giorgio are just as grim now. Oh, he won't let me out. He's too afraid of Barnaby. I know. So we planned a jailbreak. What's a jailbreak? What's a jailbreak? I guess it's what people do who love other people so that they can be together. I just know Jack Nimble's innocent, Your Honorship. He wouldn't steal a cookie from a baby, let alone a whole factory full. Well, I'm sorry, but that's the way the cookie factory crumbles. <laughs> Little joke. Justice Grant. Hmm? Hmm? Has anybody ever told you about Cincinnati? No. Why should they? What are Cincinnati's anyway? Some kind of Italian cookie? I've never eaten any. No, you don't eat them. Cincinnati's a place, a very amazing, magical city. Tall, tall buildings reach right up to the sky. One of them is only 30 stories high. You mean 30 families living on top of each other? Exactly. Well, I heard of tall stories, but never one 30 stories high. <laughs> Another little joke. <laughs> what was that? Uh, what is the elephant's at the Toyland Zoo has a very bad cold. Uh, mm, mm. But let me tell you more about Cincinnati. Watch out. On the outside looking in. On the inside looking out. Either way it's better Falling from a great height It's the feeling of flying It's the feeling of staring at a great white light There's no denying It's the feeling of such intensity It could knock down ten city walls It excites It enthralls It delights It appalls that feeling Floating on an ocean Full of warm emotions It's the notion of smoothing on a lotion Full of soothing potions A sensation that's so sensational It makes you hit the ceiling It's 
a joke, little love, like a boat from above. It's the feeling. It's the feeling. It's the feeling. Hey, Georgie, I don't believe it. Neither do I. I'm not exactly cut out to be a hero. Oh, I'm thinking cut about three heroes out of you, old buddy. <laughs> Tell Lisa. Come on, let's go. And this guy, Pete Rose, hit the ball 4,192 times. And all the people stood up and cheered and made him the king of Cincinnati. I bet they did. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Well, I really must be going now. But could I at least say goodbye to Jack? Of course, of course. I'm only sorry. This unpleasant incident. For the keys! Where are the keys? He's gone? He's gone! What are you doing? I'm not in. I'm sorry, sir. That's the way the cookie kingdom crumbles. Haha, <laughs> a little joke. Bye. A little joke. Let me out! Jack, we gotta stop Barnaby somehow. I just know he wants to take over all of Toyland. The Toy Master would never let that happen. He let Barnaby put Jack in jail. Yeah, but the Toy Master doesn't know about that. Well, don't you think it's time he did? Yes, the, the Toy, Toy Master. Master. Just that wretched interfering Cincy Watsky brat again. I think it's time I invited her and her friends over to play with my little pets. <laughs> be a pretty important person the toy master well let's put it this way i don't think santa claus would let just anybody make all the toys for all the children in the world do you no oh come in come in <laughs> you must excuse the mess Forgive us for bursting in like this. We know it's your busiest time, but it really is important. Never too busy for you, Jack. It's always quite a pleasure. I was really expecting you. You were? Why? Well, there's very little goes by anywhere that I don't know about. The last one I heard say that was my principal. And there was a lot he didn't know. Toy Master, this is our new friend, Lisa. She comes here from a place called Cincy... 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 Cincinnati. I know about that. You must be quite proud of Pete Rose. Toy Master. Toy Master. We don't know what to do with the eyes. Oh, eyes? Well, um, here. I... Oh. That's better. Now she can see and dance and smile. Huh, Lisa? Toy Master, we need to get some answers to some very important questions. Well, whether a doll can see is extremely important, Mary. <laughs> yeah. What's in those cabinets over there? Oh. 
I'm so glad you asked. Something wonderful. Wonderful. Toy Master. <laughs> oh, you're right. They are wonderful. Yes. <laughs> They're my pride and joy. I bet sadly wooden soldiers aren't much in demand anymore. Children's tastes have changed. Nowadays they ask for the most peculiar presents. It's true. Most of the kids I know like the weirdest things like death ray guns and outer space monsters. It's appalling. Toy Master, we've got to talk to you. Really, sir? For the sake of Toyland? Well, yes, I'm listening. Mother, we went up the hill for a pail of water, but Jack fell down and hurt himself. I did. Oh, put an egg in your shoe and beat it. Get under the sink with the rest of the pipes. <laughs> ah. Barnaby accused Jack of being a thief. Yes, stealing cookies from the cookie factory. And then Justice Grimm put Jack in jail. And then we just got him out. Ah, there they are. Zoom in, trouble. Barnaby, he's always been a handful. Even as a child. Handful? He's Major League Rotten. I'm going to let you in on a little secret, children. Actually, a very big secret. A secret I've never shared with anyone before. What secret? Distill its essence, and I seal it in here. In this green bottle? Boy, would Barnaby like to get his hands on that? Don't worry, Georgie Porgy, you great fat lump. Barnaby will. I knew that old wizard was up to something, and he's been doing it all for Barnaby. Ah, <laughs> My boy. <laughs> you can't collect all the evil in the world. There's no bottle big enough for that, of course. But there's room enough in this one for Barnaby's. And somehow we'll get it. Because then and only then will Toyland ever really be safe. Do you really think you can do that? Of course, my child. There's no doubt about it. It won't be easy. But then again... Worthwhile things never really are. You simply have to believe that they are possible. Georgie, where'd you get that cookie? Uh, I found it on the floor of the cookie factory. There were just two left. I thought they might be evidence. Georgie, you're eating the evidence. Georgie's right. They are evidence. If you can show us exactly where you picked those cookies up, Georgie, I'll guarantee you there's another clue close by. And we're gonna find it. Come on. Nice meeting you, Toy Master. We'll let you know what happens. All right. Keep in touch, eh, children? Okay. Now, what was I doing? Oh, yes, Christmas. Tis the season to be sharing, Fred. Happy holidays, pal. Oh, Fred. Fruity and Cocoa Pebble cereals, part of this nutritious breakfast. <laughs> peas. Peas again? 
Wouldn't it be nice to find something different than peas again? Introducing deluxe vegetables from bird's eye. With bird's eye deluxe, dinner will never be the same. Announcing Zales last weekend sale. Your last chance to save at sales before Christmas. Save 20 to 60% on diamond solitaire rings, earrings and pendants, ladies' diamond rings, men's diamond rings, and more. This weekend only during sales last weekend sale. Buy now. Pay nothing until April of 87. And save on the jewelry you want most for Christmas. Hurry this weekend only. It's your last chance to save 20 to 60% at sales. For removing tobacco and pet odors, these carpet deodorizers perform well. But only one also controls static. Introducing new Static Guard carpet deodorizer. More than just another carpet deodorizer. People can hardly wait to get through Christmas dinner when they know they're getting Baskin Robbins ice cream cakes made specially for them for dessert. Baskin Robbins, we've made your Christmas a piece of cake. I think tele television's potential has uh, uh, perhaps been realized to, to a tip of an iceberg. And what needs to be done is to take all those frustrated great script writers and programmers and producers and give them greater elbow room, which all spells greater respect for the limitless potential of the American people to raise their expectations and demand a higher quality TV. Well, Dad, I like it. Your daddy loves Old Spice. I love the smell of my daddy. This Christmas, give your men the clean masculine scent of Old Spice. I love the smell of daddy. And so does mommy. Give him the gift he'll love, Old Spice. Gentlemen, presenting this season's slim trim addition to the Kleenex Huggies diaper line, new Huggies Super Trims. Elastic waistband Super Trims feature a unique Super Trim padding to fit better than bulkier diapers. Notice how they absorb just as much wetness and hold it away, so they help stop leaking while they fit better. Slim fitting new Super Trim diapers from Huggies. What all the happiest babies will be wearing. Campbell's soup with my bare hands. I didn't even know you could get Campbell's soup in a box. The dry soup's so good. Noodles. You know it's Campbell's. Campbell's soup is good food. Saturday, come home for the holidays when a loving family tries to warm the heart of their mean-spirited landlord. You got two weeks' notice and that's it. An all-star cast in an NBC family special, Christmas Snow. Then on the Golden Girls, Santa makes a house call. Now it's time to find out who's naughty or nice. Ho, ho, ho. On Amen, the deacon turns drama coach for the Christmas play. Uh... Then it's an American celebration of holiday music. Join John Forsythe and Mac Davis for Christmas in Washington. Come on, Saturday. We now return to Babes in Toilet. Come on, you guys. Hurry up. 
coming, 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 coming. We've got to find where those boxes of cookies went. They couldn't have just vanished into thin air. Georgie, I want you to show me exactly where you picked those two cookies up. Okay, right this way. Okay. I'll search Barnaby's office. Great. Don't forget to look in places like papers and trash cans, because in Cincinnati, that's the way the policemen solve crimes, by looking for things in peculiar places. Well, we're going to find something, too. We better, or we'll all end up in jail. There. All right, boys. 
give the others. You know what to do. What about the others, Barnaby? Oh, Jack. I always like to make plans for my friends. If you so much as lay one finger on Mariel. Oh, oh, oh. You know me better than that. I never use violence, no matter how enjoyable. Unless there's simply no other way, which in this case there is. You are going to write a sweet little note to Mary Contrary telling her that unfortunately you don't love her anymore. Ha! I'm not writing anything. You are right, but I tell you to write. You know what I think? I think what you really want is to destroy Toyland. On the contrary, I plan to own it. And when I do, there'll be some very interesting changes. Move on, death boy! If necessary, yes. Everything Lisa warned us about you is true. Oh. I hope so. You run this rotten, evil forest, and you stole all those cookies to discredit me and feed things like that. All right, no, 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 throw off, don't. That won't be necessary. No, no. We don't want to damage Mr. Nimble's writing hand, do we? If you don't write that letter, I'll have Mary brought down here and turned over to my creatures. You wouldn't, wouldn't I? Look into my sweet Trollocs eye. In a few moments, Mary will start searching near the trap door. All I have to do is signal Zack and Mac to gag her, bring her down here. To an evil person, I'm really very well organized, don't you think? I read the letter. Ah. Oh. Thank you, Jack. Where's Jack? Oh, Mary. I don't know. I looked everywhere for him and I can't find him. I looked for him back here in the storeroom and I can't find him. Jack! 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 Ah! 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 We triggered the alarm! Wait, we got to find a way to turn it off! How do we stop it? it? Everything and none of it's good! Help! Help! Unlock me! Quicker! Quicker! You don't dare! Quickly, quickly! Move on, move on! Go ahead! All right! Where is he? I can explain everything! It's all my fault! I'm the guilty one! I was the brains behind the breakout! You couldn't be the brains behind a cup of coffee. Justice Grimm, you're really making a very big mistake. Jack just disappeared. Not as much as he's going to disappear when I get my hands on him. Believe me, Justice, Jack is innocent. There's only one villain that you should be looking for, and that's Barnaby. Be that as it may. The law is the law. If you really want to uphold the law, you'll arrest Barnaby and not Jack. I believe this letter Jack left... We'll explain everything we need to know. Ah, Mary, my dear. Dear Mary, Jack asked me to give you this letter. My guess is he wasn't man enough to give it to you um, himself. It's Jack's handwriting. When did he write this and where is he? Is he all right? My dear Mary, by the time you read this, I shall have left Toyland forever. I will learn to live with the guilt of what I've done. The great cookie robbery has made me rich for life, and I plan to start a new life in the world beyond the forests of the night. Don't ever try to find me. Our love, like my life in Toyland, is over.
goodbye, Mary, and goodbye to all my former friends. Jack. Well, I guess that just about wraps up this case, wouldn't you say, Justice? No, I wouldn't say. This is a signed confession. I'm sorry, kids. I'll have to keep it. Now you'd all better leave Mr. Barnacle's premises immediately. Or I'll have to arrest you for aiding and abetting a criminal. Take me home, Lisa. Don't you just arrest that little alien from the planet Cincinnati and that fat nincompoop, and I'll be able to take care of Mary. Uh, do you anticipate the wedding will be on again? Oh, there's no doubt about it. Oh. I mean, didn't you see the twinkle in her eye every time she looked at me? <laughs> to tell you the truth, I miss that. Well, on Wednesday... At noon, when we get married, and I become permanent supervisor of the cookie factory, you will see her absolutely light up. Then you, Justice Grimm, will get the best view because you are going to be marrying us. No, oh, I just love weddings. Good. Good. Let's, let's just hope that this one goes a little more smoothly than the last one. Hate to turn it into a funeral. You know, you know what I mean. Yes, I do. After 25 years, people have had it with dishwasher powders all over their dishes. Fortunately, you're about to get a break from powders. Introducing Palmolive Automatic, a revolutionary new liquid made just for automatic dishwashers. Because it's a liquid, it just hauls faster to rinse clean with no powder residue. So you can get on with other things. Try new Palmolive Automatic and break away from powders. You know, being something of a magician, I like to play little tricks. That's why my friends always figure I'm pulling a fast one. Even when I'm not. Like when I make some Maxwell House instant decaffeinated after dinner, my friends will say, that's decaffeinated, instant decaffeinated. They're amazed at how good it tastes. They think I'm pulling their leg. Heck no, I'm picking their pockets. Anybody seen it? My wallet, have you seen my wallet? Harry? Hear me fruity pebbles in the bowls. Oh, oh, here comes you know who. Yabba dabba fruit, delicious do. Oh, ho, ho, I'm ho, ho, hungry. Santa, my pebbles, your pebbles. Tis the season to be sharing, Fred. Happy holidays, pal. Oh, Fred. Fruity and cocoa pebble cereals, part of this nutritious breakfast. Ho, 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 ho. Thank you, Aunt Martha. No, not believable. Try, thanks. Thanks. Joel, pretend she just gave you a Sunday. But she gives me stuff like this. Try again. Hey, kids, look who's here. Thank you, Aunt Martha. You're welcome. This Christmas, give something kids love. McDonald's gift certificates, just 50 cents each at 10 for $5. It is a Sunday. It's a good time for the great taste. Joel, say thank you. Oh, McDonald's. I love you. NBC Movie of the Week will return following these messages. Saturday, the NFL plays here when the Broncos battle the Seahawks. Before your team takes the field, our team hits the air. NFL 86. This is NBC News Digest. Here is John Hart, NBC News. Good evening. The White House says it will gladly give any computer records or taped conversations to investigators of the secret arms deals with Iran. Vice President Bush said former National Security Staff members Poindexter and North should tell before Christmas what they know about the arms deals. Speaker Rafsanjani of the Iranian parliament offered to help free American hostages if the U.S. releases Iran's frozen assets. 
The mating season is over in Shrewsbury, Vermont, but the moose that loved a cow is still in love. Only he knows which one. I'm John Hart, New York. More news later on this NBC station. Christmas is my favorite time of year because of all those special moments shared with my family. And there's so much to do, like baking all those special things. That's why I go to Hills for all of my groceries, because Hills gives quality in everything. This week, Hills offers Perky Turkey's Great A, 69 cents a pound, and Smithfield Hold Smoked Hams, 99 cents a pound, plus Hills Choice Hold Ribeyes, 2 dollars a pound. Hills, a tradition of sharing good products and low prices with you and your family. wishes you all the joyous visions Christmas can bring. You're sure to create memories this Christmas when you give her classic jewelry by Napier. Beautiful pins in an elegant velvet box. Napier, the perfect gift for lasting memories. Happy holidays from Belk. Come home to New Center 6 for tomorrow's complete weather forecast earlier than you'll see it anywhere else. The late weather earlier, only on New Center 6. TV6, WECT, Wilmington. Thieves in Toyland continues. Starring Drew Barrymore, Eileen Brennan, and Richard Mulligan. Barnaby, Ugh. leave this to me. Yes? You? Well, hello, Mr. Barnaby. Where's my darling Mary? Oh, I'm afraid she's not at home. She'll be so sorry to have missed you. I brought these lovely flowers for her. Oh, they're beautiful. I'll be sure to tell her. She's going to be really thrilled. I don't know what it is about you, Mr. Barnaby, but you sure know how to charm the ladies. I do. Well, yes, of course I do. Not only have you got Mary thinking twice, but you've got her mother, Mrs. Hubbard, all jealous about it. You sure are a devil with the ladies, Mr. Barnaby. Bye. <laughs> For me? Yes. Well, they're lovely. Who sent them? Mr. Barnaby Barnacle. He admires you very much, but he just doesn't know how to tell you. That dear, sweet, shy, foolish boy, he can tell me anytime he wants. Pick up my thing. Thank you. Fatty. The answer is no. Wherever Jack is, he's not in Toyland. I've looked everywhere. He's just not here. Uh, he has to be. He wouldn't just leave Mary. And that stuff in the letter about going to a place beyond the forest of the night, I don't believe it. Well, he's gone, Lisa. Believe me. I know every foot of Toyland, and he's just not here. The letter's real. It can't be. But it is. There's one place we haven't looked. Where? The bowling ball. I I've got a hunch about it. Let's go. Oh. 
from an admirer. Oh, oh. Nobody's ever been inside Barnaby's house before. It could be very dangerous. Don't with that now, Georgie. I'll go. I'm not scared. I'm not a child. No, I'll search it. You two stand guard. But wait a minute. Something I'm could... sorry, Lisa, but it's time I did something besides cry. was going to come after you. I know that. Enjoy yourselves, my dears. This is the last time you'll ever touch one another. Where are we? What is this terrible place? Well, it may not be everybody's taste, but we call it home. Don't we, Spatrola? You promised me if I wrote that letter, you'd leave her alone. So what? I once promised Trollog he'd grow up to be cute. <laughs> oh, in case you're worrying where we're going, we're off to pay a visit to your old friend, the Toy Master. <laughs> My newest creation. Toy Master, for once I think there's something more important than a new toy. Jack and Mary have both disappeared, and the way things are looking, we could all end up disappearing. Oh, my poor Lisa, I can see that you're very upset. Yes, I am very, and this is no time for anybody to be playing with toys. Not even you. Excuse me, Toy Master, we don't mean to be rude. It's just that we're both very concerned. Well, it's a very tricky time around here right now, working 24 hours a day and all. And Santa Claus will be by soon to pick up his Christmas toys for the children of the world. We'll just have to manage, eh? Toy Master, I don't think you really realize what's going on in Toyland. The whole place is in great danger. And you must do something right away. You really must. <laughs> what exactly did you have in mind? Well, for instance, don't you have the power to turn Barnaby into a... A wind-up pussycat or something? I mean, I don't think you realize how evil he is. Oh, but what if there's still some good inside of him? There's no good in Barnaby, sir. Lisa, I'm afraid that's not precisely true. The struggle between good and evil goes on inside of everyone. Not in me, old man! Zack Mack! Lisa! Get out! No. Run! Get out of here! Get out! No! Be careful! <laughs> Leave me alone! Come on, get back here. Please! Please! Toy Master. Level Leave him toy alone! Master. Don't you hurt the Toy Master! Don't hurt the Toy Master. This is a great moment. For you, maybe. Oh. Oh. 
Beautiful flask of evil. You don't need any more evil, Barnaby. You've got enough of your own. Uh, uh, Barnaby Barnacle, don't you dare touch a hair on that child. I'm not a child. Uh, uh, you're wrong, my interfering little Cincy Watsky. I will use every ounce of evil the Toy Master has so kindly been collecting for me. Every last drop. Barnaby, what is it exactly that you want? Did Santa Claus bring you enough toys last Christmas? I don't want toys, you old imbecile. I want Toyland. All of it, and it shall be mine. And come that happy day, there will be no more toys. No more cookies. No more sunshine. But my world, a new world, filled with darkness, death, and destruction. <laughs> oh, I am really looking forward to that. Barnaby, you are a taker in the land of giving. Don't you realize you can never conquer Toyland? Never. <laughs> we will see about that, old man. They're all yours, Trollog. Enjoy your little treat. <laughs> 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 I would suggest we try and escape. It's Red Lobster's Crab Legs and... Crab Legs and Lobster and how about Crab Legs and Fresh Fish and now more. A half pound of snow crab legs and your choice of eight seafood favorites starting at $7.95 at Red Lobster now. Red Lobster presents The Platters. Oh, yes, it's the holiday season. A medley of party platters to go. Heavenly taste of shrimp and crab claws. It's party time. Call Red Lobster for party platters to go. Well, Dad, I like it. The Daddy loves old spice. I love the smell of my daddy. This Christmas, give your men the clean, masculine scent of old spice. I love the smell of daddy. And same as mommy. Give him the gift he'll love, old spice. You'd probably laugh if I told you that now all you need on your heaviest days is a thin pad. So, I'll show you. You see, new Sure and Naturals improved to protect on heavy days. Inside, there's this new ultra-absorbent core that locks in wetness even better than thick pads. Now that you can wear new Sure and Natural from day one, why wear anything else? New improved Sure and Natural Maxi Shields, the thin pad you can wear from day one. Only one cold tablet can say it relieved my stuffy nose in space. Only Actifed. Only one cold tablet can say it relieved my sneezing in space. Only Actifed. Only Actifed has been on every manned U.S. space flight since Apollo 7. It comes to you full strength without a prescription. Only Actifed is the cold tablet most recommended by doctors. Only one cold tablet can say all that. Only Actifed. Come home for the holidays to the magical musical adventure for the whole family. It's Annie. Then, share an American tradition. I love it. With season greetings that'll make you smile. Bob Hope's back full of Christmas cheer. And it's a celebration as Ed Bakley Jr. and Dennis Weaver join Grammy winner Amy Grant heading home for the holidays Sunday. Babes in Toyland continues. Starring Drew Barrymore, Eileen Brennan, and Richard Mulligan. Wash your hands, my child. Good, good job. Help me now. Stay away from me. Help. 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 
surprise put out into the forest of the night. Lisa, you and Georgie must find a way to get the flask of evil back. You must? Why us? What? Well, because I am old and you are young. And the challenge of protecting good from evil eventually always falls to the young. Even here in Toyland. This is how we protect our traditions. In that case, We'll get that flask back for you. No matter what we have to do, we'll get it back. Georgie, are you crazy? You're supposed to be the, the scaredy cat. I am scared, Lisa. But I'm more scared of Barnaby having the flask of evil. That really terrifies me. Ah, Georgie, you are a very brave fellow. Lisa, come on. I won't be able to go along with you on this one. You and Georgie will have to do this yourselves. I have many treasures here, and I must guard them. Okay, you're the Toy Master. Come on, Georgie. Thank you, Toy Master. Oh, you're quite welcome. Um, what was I doing? Oh, yes, Christmas. Thank you for your lovely flowers. Flowers? I didn't send you any flowers. This woman is crazy. Oh, you silly shy boots. My first husband was very shy, too. You know, I find shyness the most attractive trait in a man. So how do you like my new dress? It's attractive, fine, but right now I'm in a big hurry. Would you like to drop by my shoe? I've got some fine gumdrop wine. I'm a teetotaler. Oh, all right, then tea it is. No, really, I have no time. Well, how's that adorable little pet of yours? What is it, a Pekingese? Trollog mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> is a dwarf troll. Oh, it must be a very rare species. Yes, yes, indeed, unique. And I suppose to you, a man's best friend is his dwarf troll. He has his uses. You might say he's more like my watchdog. Did you ever find all of those those missing cookies? I was just so yes, indeed, upset I have. Yes, I have that little mystery. Yes. I have that little mystery well under control. Now, now, huh? If you will excuse me. Oh, such a handsome man like you. You shouldn't have to work so hard. You shouldn't have to do it. Well, thank you. You are a very attractive woman yourself, now that I see you out of your usual heavy-duty gingham. You know what touched me most about those flowers were the lilies. Oh, the trumpets. Such trumpets. Such trumpets. <laughs> Come on. Bye-bye, shy boots. You come back soon. Oh. Bring back that cute little dwarf, Pollock. I'll buy the pink bow. Till we meet again, my sweet. George, you've suddenly gone from being jelly like Superman. You saw Barnaby with that hideous trollish thing? Where we're going is where things like that are. That's a good reason for not going there. But don't you see? Yeah. That's where Jack and Mary are. In the forest of the night. George, you're a 300 pound genius. Don't you think we should be armed or something? Good idea. Oh, 
eyebrows. What's the matter? Oh, I'm just suddenly missing Cincinnati for the first time. I'm missing something, too. Some plain old common sense. Lisa, you're not coming with me. You've already done enough, and I'm not going to let you risk your life. Now it's just me. But Jack and Are my responsibility. They're my friends, too. I know. And I'm not a child. Thinking back to a world I plan to see again someday But when, who can say? I guess when I get the itch When I work out which one in a bowl? Campbell's chicken and star soup. Campbell's tastes good. <laughs> kids love Campbell's special soups for kids. I like your planet. Good food. Now I can open Campbell's soup with my bare hands. I didn't even know you could get Campbell's soup in a box. The dry soup's so good. No. You know it's Campbell's. Campbell's soup is good food. Get your sea shined up, grab a stick of juicy fruit. The taste is gonna move ya. Take a sniff, pull it out. The taste is gonna move ya when you pop it in your mouth. Juicy fruit is gonna move ya. It juice the salt, it gets right to ya. Juicy fruit, the taste, the taste, the taste is gonna move ya. Pour it on quicker fruit and cream. 
Stir it up, Quaker fruit and cream. What a taste, what a dream. The cream of the crop, Quaker fruit and cream. Quaker introduces fruit and cream instant oat meals. Bananas and cream, blueberries and cream, peaches and cream, and strawberries and cream. For a rich, smooth taste you won't find in any other cereal. The cream of the crop, Quaker fruit and cream. Instant oat meal. Quaker fruit and cream. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little more of this, a little more of that. Give yourself a pat, give your guy a pat. Give them all a little pat of butter. Taste some of this, taste some of that. Lots of this and lots of that. Give your kid a pat, give your friend a pat. Give them all a little pat of butter. Serve them the best, because they deserve it. Pure, fresh, natural dairy butter. It has the same calories as most other spreads, just 36 per pat. Have some of this, have some of that. Give them all a little pat of butter. Give them all a little pat of butter. NBC Movie of the Week will return following these messages. Football, baseball, and rock and roll this week on Friday Night Videos. Hi, I'm Bill Shatner. Join me this week on Saturday Night Live with the musical group Lone Justice. This is the new Center 6 update. I'm Ken Murphy. I'm Francis Weller. Robinson County has been singled out as North Carolina's worst illegal drug problem area, as today a sheriff's deputy was indicted for drug dealing. In Wilmington, drug agents get help from man's best friend in tracking down and apprehending pushers, and tonight we'll see some of them in action. These stories and more for you, plus all the sports action with Steve and John's weather forecast for the weekend. Coming up on News Center 6 at 11. And the magic can be yours when you shop at Brendel's. For a great cup of coffee, try this Mr. Coffee 12-cup drip coffee maker. Has electronic 24-hour digital timer control. You'll be cooking in a flash with a Toastmaster Kitchen Dimension microwave oven with 10 power levels. Fits flush under the cabinet. There's magic in Christmas at Brendel's. Hello there. When you see me. Me too. Think of Power Swain Chevrolet. When you don't see us, you can think of what you please. WECT TV, Channel 6, Wilmington. Thieves in Toyland continues. Starring Drew Barrymore, Eileen Brennan, and Richard Mulligan. It's not like him to stay out this late. If they harm my precious little baby, I'll make them pay a terrible price. All right. It's almost time, sweethearts. Just be patient a little while longer. Soon we will have it all. All. You hear me? Endless power. For every one of us. Yes. Trelag. Please, Trelag, come. Jack, I'm so scared. Don't worry, I won't let anything happen to you. What can you do against a pack of monsters like that? Outthink them, outrun them, escape. But the one thing we can't do is panic.
Welcome. We've been expecting you. I wish we could say we are glad to be here. I'd watch my manners if I were you, Cincy Waski. Now that I have this and my loyal legion of lovely pets waiting. He's got trolls, hundreds of ugly trolls who eat all the cookies. Yes! And just one small dose of these precious evil vapors and they will be unconquerable. I will be master of Toyland. You're the monster of Toyland, Barnaby. How could you ever wish evil on the most wonderful place that ever existed? You're insane. Well, yes. Now, I want you all to try it. You'll like it. And it was you, Cincy Watsky, who cost me my beloved Trollog. So I've decided to turn you into him. Look, Uncle Barnaby, if you want the factory, take it. Just don't harm my friends. Jack, just a few words of this. And you will all become Barnaby servants. You will all become creatures of evil. <laughs> Be my guest. Don't breathe it. Just don't breathe it. What are we supposed to breathe, Jack? I thought you loved Mary. I love her even more. As my troll princess. <laughs> You will be my favorites, my new favorites. <laughs> and now I'll go get my other little pets so you all can meet each other. <laughs> Master, master, 
Now you are free to join the other troll comrades. As a warmonger. Okay, gang, let's move. Ah. Ah. All right, I try to do things nicely, but no. Uh, now it's war. You hear me?
gotta be something i have only toys here toys cannot protect us from anything as long as there is one person within these walls who can't believe in them who doesn't believe in toys there is one person who was never really a child life made her grow up too fast and so she could never really believe in Toys or childhood. It must be you, Lisa. Me? You're always saying I'm not a child. And I guess maybe you never have been. I think 
that he's right, Lisa. Lisa, listen to me. I know there's not very much time, but I'm not the one who can save Toyland. You are. Only you. What do I have to do? Simply believe. Believe in Toyland and all that it stands for. As long as you cannot believe in Toyland, I'm afraid everything is lost. If you can see through the eyes of a child The wonderful world that children see Believe you me, you will never grow old You will always be free to be beguiled If you can think with the mind of a child and be lost in fantasy Believe you me That's more precious than gold You will always hold In your childlike mind Precious dreams Other folks don't find If you, like me Can think and see the wandering, wandering eyes and mind of a child. Do you want to believe, Lisa? Yes, I do. More than anything. I guess life just made me grow up too fast. I do still have my teddy. I kept teddy. Did you hear that, everybody? She kept her teddy. Yes, I kept my teddy, and I miss him. He guards over my little brother, Joey. Then you do still remember how important toys can be, Lisa. Say that you really remember, Lisa. Remember, Lisa. Say, Say that you, you remember. remember. Yes, I do remember. Toyland has made me remember. I always wanted to be a kid. I always wanted to play with toys. I believe in all of you. And I am still just a kid. I really am.
and grab a bag full of Christmas cheer. Ho, ho, ho! Don't miss a one-hour Bob Hope special following Annie's Sunday. Monday, Loretta Young stars in a touching Christmas story as a mother struggling to bring her family together for the holidays. In Christmas Eve, Monday.
hereby banished to the forest of the night forever. You can't do that to me. You can't. I don't control them anymore. Officer. Soldiers free. You have to answer two questions. First, are you 21 years old? No, but I will be tomorrow. Second, are you married? No, but I will be tomorrow. That's good enough for me. <laughs> then, by virtue of the power vested in me as justice of the peace of Toyland, and based on the most cherished wishes of your beloved father, Jack Nimble Sr., I hereby proclaim that the sacred trust of the cookie factory now falls under your benevolent supervision. <laughs> I can't believe it's all finally worked out and the trust is safe again. I declare tomorrow to be Toyland's most delicious wedding day. People can hardly wait to get through Christmas dinner when they know they're getting Baskin Robbins ice cream cakes made specially for them for dessert. Baskin Robbins, we've made your Christmas a piece of cake. Introducing the affordable K40 from Kodak. 35 millimeter, it's easy. The simple thing is 35. For pictures that just come alive. The simple thing is 35. Kodak's newest 35. Congratulate me. 
there's a nice hot way to spice up your day. Mexican Velveeta is here. Make your enchiladas a little bit hotter. With the peppery cheese blend of the year. Mexican Velveeta processed cheese spreads just right. For giving a nacho a real macho bite. With Mexican Velveeta, you'll say. For peppers and cheese specially blended to please. There's no single cheese hot or mild like Mexican Velveeta. This is William Shatner with a holiday message to all my friends. You won't be getting any gifts this year because instead of shopping, I'll be hosting Saturday Night Live with the musical group Lone Justice. Saturday, the NFL plays here when the Broncos battle the Seahawks. Before your team takes the field, our team hits the air. NFL 86. Hi, I'm Ken Murphy. And I'm Tawana Randolph from Hog and Eye. We want to talk with you about speech. That's right, speech. The successful people establish a great communication habit. Speaking well can get you many places. If you can express yourself, you might get that job you're after or a better grade. Or even that special person you've had your eye on. Good speech. Make it talk for you. a member of the family. Come home to The Tonight Show. TV6, WECT, Wilmington. Contrary, Hubbard. Take this man, Jack Nimble Jr., to be your husband, to love and cherish and give him a lot of fun and love with your whole heart till the end of time. I do. And you, Jack Nimble Jr., do you take the breathtaking Mary to be your beautiful, loving wife from this moment on, to love and be unbelievably kind to? To share the joys of Toyland and all your hopes and dreams with. Forever and a day. It's not long enough. But I do. By virtue of the almost unlimited power vested in me by the Toy Master, I now pronounce you man and wife. This is 
how Toyland should always be. Always. Master, I really must go home now. My real home. Yes, it's time. But how do I do it? Well, it should be very easy for you. Now that you've learned that no one ever really grows old, I mean, not completely. And when you remember childhood, you'll think of Toyland. Do I have to grow up at all? <laughs> it won't be so bad. But just when I was really beginning to get the hang of being a kid, I thought I could just go home and feel the same way I do here and now. Hmm. Well then, don't be in such a hurry to become an adult. It'll all happen quite soon enough, believe me. One day, when you're all grown up, you must remember to keep the child in you alive. Will I always be able to do that? Of course, forever. You must. <laughs> It'll come in very handy around income taxes or on very rainy days. And most important, you will never grow old. If you can think with the mind of a child, Believe and be lost in fantasy. Believe you need that's more precious than gold. You will always hold in your childlike mind. Precious dreams other folks don't find. If you like, like me. me Think and see through the wandering, wandering eyes and mind of a child. Cincinnati, hmm? I'll be waiting. Lisa, what am I gonna do without you? How can we ever thank you? Here I hate goodbyes.
No, I never really did like that, Barnaby. Would you like to come by my shoe for dinner sometime? I'd be delighted. But I haven't said goodbye to the Toy Master. <laughs> well, you should have a nice trip, Lisa, if you don't mind a few bumps. Toy Master! about you, darling. Oh, I'm so happy to be home. Where's little Joey? Oh, no, Lisa, stop acting like a mother. He's upstairs sleeping, warm and toasty in his little bed. We're just so happy that you're all right. Oh, Mary, Jack and George, you're all here. I'm so happy to see everybody again. I was in this town filled with Talking toys and, and Mother Goose people. And horrible monsters tried to eat me alive. Well, of course they did, honey. Oh, that reminds me, I must call the pest control people. I thought that Barney from the store was the worst monster of the lot. <laughs> oh, yes, he was. He was. Oh, Lisa, you shouldn't say things like that. You're a very lucky little girl after what happened to you tonight. I just wish you could have all been there and met the Toy Master. He's the most wonderful man I've ever met. And I live in the heel of a big shoe. And I had so many wonderful, wonderful friends. Of course you did, honey. They told me, you know, that you bumped your head a little. Yeah, that was some sled ride you had. But I'm fine now. We were all so frightened when you went flying out of that jeep. <laughs> it's my fault. I'm sorry. I just couldn't get to the sled. And... Oh, don't be sorry, Georgie. I've had the most wonderful time I've ever had in my whole life. Oh, Mom. The tree is so beautiful. As beautiful as all the things the Toy Master taught me. Oh, he must be a very wise man. He was. He taught me that it was in our hearts that we must stay young and try to be good. And above all, we must believe. And then we'll always have a Merry Christmas and everything, won't we? Always and always and always. Tonight, the king of late-night Johnny Carson welcomes the one and only Bob Hope and singer Barbara Mandrell to The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson. 
Then, sports commentators Bob Costas and Ahmad Rashad talk about hits with the Mets' Ron Darling on Friday night videos. With music videos from Van Halen, the Pointer Sisters, Bruce Springsteen, the Bangles, and more. Tonight on NBC.